you decide to do a reduced thrust takeoff and climb. Show takeoff ref page 2. The FMC can calculate reduced takeoff thrust for the auto throttle. You select reduced takeoff thrust on this page. A runway analysis or other approved airline performance data is necessary to calculate the reduced thrust takeoff or climb entry. For this example, the analysis is done. First, let's discuss the selected temperature or assumed temperature thrust reduction. These data lines on page 2 also show on N1 limit page 1 of 1. You normally put in the assumed temperature on page 1, but it can also be put in on page 2. Put the assumed temperature and the selected temperature line. If you put in an assumed temperature that is more than the outside air temperature by a large enough quantity, the FMC calculates a lower takeoff thrust limit for each engine. The FMC commands a reduced takeoff thrust to the auto throttle. The thrust mode display shows an assumed temperature reduced thrust takeoff of plus 35 degrees Celsius to show that reduced takeoff thrust is selected. The reference N1 bugs moves to the new takeoff values for the assumed temperature D rate. Next, delete the assumed temperature. The FMC commands full rated takeoff thrust to the auto throttle. There are three optional entries available on takeoff ref page 2. Entry of these options refines the FMC performance management. Enter runway wind direction and speed here. Enter runway slope here. Valid entries for slope are U or plus for up and D or minus for down slopes followed by the percent gradient. Runway conditions for dry, wet or skid resistant wet runways are entered here. Climb thrust reduction altitudes are entered here. Allowable entries are 800 feet to 9,999 feet. The engine out acceleration height can be set here. It displays acceleration height for flap retraction with an engine out. Allowable entries are from 400 feet to 9,999 feet. This area displays height for flap retraction. Allowable entries are 400 feet to 9,999 feet. The quiet climb system can be initialized after the initial FMCS setup is complete by turning the cutback feature line select key 6 right to on. The FMCS quiet climb system supports operations at airports with noise abatement requirements in effect. With the quiet climb system enabled, the FMC can provide automated operations by reducing and restoring thrust levels at pre-selected altitudes. By selecting cutback on, the cutback N1 limit is computed to provide a minimum thrust cutback for a climb gradient of 1.2%. The thrust reduction altitude entered in line select key 5 left is the altitude at which cutback will occur. The restore altitude entered in line select key 5 right is the altitude at which climb thrust will be restored. 